These are the kinds of views Jim Anderson sees all the time. Wow. Pretty nice. <laughs> you got a few there, do you think? Jim started taking pictures from his airplane in 1980, and after being a speech pathologist in Traverse City for over 30 years, Jim decided to retire so his interest in aerial photography could really take off. If this is retirement, I need a new job because I'm way too busy, but anyway. It, He's been specializing been in capturing the beauty of northern Michigan in all seasons for years with guidance from his mentor John, his Cessna Skyhawk 172, and his Nikon 700. And he's doing it all from 12,000 feet. So there's just a, a lot of areas, our bays and our water. Uh, I mean, if you, you, you look at uh, the whole, all of Leelanau County, and uh, you, know, you look at all the attractions there, starting with Northport and, you know, Sutton's Bay and Omina and uh, Leland. I mean, there's just so many areas there, Fishtown, and, you know, I mean, you just keep going and going and going. Many of Jim's photos are panoramic, a group of photos digitally sewn together for a glossy, detailed compilation. And some of his favorite subjects are Great Lakes, our small lakes, and, of course, sleeping Bear Dunes. Sleeping Bear Dunes, how beautiful it is. And you go over to Torch Lake, I mean, you talk about a beautiful lake, and I've got some panoramics of that, and that's 29 miles long, you know, and so you get a panoramic of that. I think there's 12 or 13 photos stitched together. But a clear day doesn't promise a smooth ride, and even Jim's stable hands need a little help. John said, now, if you really want to improve your aerial photography, this is what you must get. This is a gyroscopic stabilizer. When you put the gyroscopic stabilizer on, now if you handle that, the first thing you're going to say is, Wow, that's heavy. Wow, that's heavy. And that's what everybody says. A master multitasker, Jim uses the tool to add weight to the camera and keep the photos from being blurry, all while using his feet to fly the plane. I'm sitting and flying at the same time, and I'm out here taking in the airplane, and I'm bouncing around. This camera is just as smooth as can be. If you fly for four hours, or you know, which I've done before, at the end of four hours, you say, I better get my weight training going again. And the results are worth it. You know, there are a lot of wow photos. And I mean, that's a wow photo for me, as is uh, summer or summertime, fall time uh, at Power Island. I mean, it's just a spectacular photo. And uh, when you get that kind of contrast. Many of Jim's photos are in right. galleries around northern Michigan or on the walls of businesses and homes. It seems more and more people from other parts of the country are looking to get a piece of northern Michigan. I love the shallows and the way this is structured. And one day I was going to Beaver Island and uh, about a year ago, and uh, I heard this pilot uh, say, Traverse City Tower, am I in the right place? And the tower said, well, you're in Traverse City. Well, I, I think I'm in the Bahamas. <laughs> and, and it does look like Bahama water. There's no question about that. Jim's photos come in lots of forms, canvas prints, digital and files, people, puzzles. A lot of people just want the digital uh, print or the, the digital file, and they put them on websites. Uh, and when it comes to Jim's photos, sometimes bigger is better. And this at 8 feet long and 30 inches high is stunning. Jim has been doing his aerial photography full time for over 15 years and he has no plans of quitting anytime soon. It doesn't get any better than that. It really doesn't. It's, it's so beautiful. And when people go up and they say, oh, you have such, I said, yes, I do have a, a wonderful time doing this because it, it is uh, every day you fly. It's just, it's special. Well, it's amazing what it looks like. In Traverse City, Holly Baker, 7 and 4 News.